Hey everyone, this is Reggie from Restore Plus Physical Therapy and welcome to another tip of the day. Today, I want to give you a very important tip if you just had a knee replacement or if you're going to have a knee replacement, this is a very important tip to keep in mind, okay? Because I see a lot of patients in the clinic uh, who underwent knee replacement and a lot of them, they do this one thing that is not good for the recovery, it's not good for the long run, um, and also you, it may cause more problems for you if you keep doing it, all right? So I want to share that very important tip with you today. So I want you to listen up. Um, now, what is this very important tip? Now, a lot of my patients, when they undergo knee replacement, they do one thing. They do one thing because it makes them feel more comfortable. And what is that? It's they keep their knees bent. They keep that knee bent. It's either they continue to keep it bent like this, let's say lying down, or a lot of times they put either a towel or a pillow under their knee to keep it bent and they relax that way, right? A lot of times the patients are not told not to do that. Uh, either the, so the doctors, the nurses will tell them to ice their knee, uh, even the therapist, right? But they seldom or rarely tell them not to keep it bent, or to keep it straight, right? And this is what happens. The patient will follow the instructions. They will keep the knee, they will ice the knee, but either they will have the knee bent like this and ice it up on top, or they'll wrap the ice pack around the knee. Now, if you have ice pack underneath also, that will take up a little bit of space and it will keep your knee bent, all right? So, that is something that I do not want you to do. If you are doing that, I want you to stop doing that right now. And this is, this is why, let me explain to you. Uh, why do people keep the knee bent? Because that gives them, it makes them more comfortable. It gets them less, uh, gets that knee less painful. And why is that? It's because if, uh, if you just had the knee replacement, right? So you're going to have a lot of swelling, a lot of inflammation. Right? And when you keep your knee straight, what's gonna happen is the bone's gonna line up like this. So this is the femur, this will be, let's say, your lower leg, your tibia, fibula, right? So when it's like this, there's less space and you have a, a lot of uh, inflammation, a lot of swelling. So what will happen is it's gonna build up more pressure, it's gonna cause more pain. When you actually bend your leg like this, bend your knee like this, you see what happens? It, you actually have more space now. And when more space, there's gonna be less pressure build up, there's more area, more room for the swelling to go, right? So you're gonna have less pain. It's gonna be more comfortable. But I don't want you to keep doing that, and this is why. Because if you keep doing that, your knee will heal and it will stiffen up in a bent position. When your knee is in a bent position, you won't be able to stand straight or you won't be able to walk straight because basically, one leg will be, it's like one leg is shorter than the other. Imagine standing, if you're stand, stand up right now, all right, bend one of your knees. You're gonna see that you will have to tippy toe like this is because that leg is essentially shorter now. So now if your knee is stiff in that position and you always have a bend and you're walking, you're gonna be limping or you're gonna be waddling. You're gonna be shifting left and right. Long term, that's gonna give you hip problems and that's gonna give you back pains. That's why a lot of patients who uh, have either, not only knee replacements, but lower extremity surgeries, when they're limping for a long period of time and their core is not very good, not very strong, they end up having back pains and we see that a lot, all right? So I, I tell patients, basically it's like your 5152. So you don't want that. You want that knee to be perfectly straight. So that way when you're standing and walking, you will be even, okay? So now, one thing is when the knee is bent, it will stiffen up, scar tissue will form, it will stiffen up in that position. The other thing is when your knee is bent like this, at the bottom here, you have the back part of the thigh, you have a hamstrings, okay? That's the hamstring muscle. And it, it extends towards, like it passes that knee. It goes towards the upper part of your lower leg. All right, it attaches there. So now, when you keep your knee bent like that all the time, that tendon of the hamstrings will shorten. It's the uh, Darwin's theory of evolution. If you don't use it, you lose it, right? So it will shorten because you're not lengthening it anymore. And if it shortens, 
then that's gonna be like you have like a tight rubber band or a rope there that's gonna be preventing your knee to actually straight if this is really tight right at the bottom here if this is really tight and then you try to stretch it now this is not gonna give because it's so tight now so that's why right from the beginning you want to maintain that flexibility of that tendon and you want to make sure that the scar tissue don't form around areas where it shouldn't be that will block that movement all right so i want you, this is very important i want you to stop putting pillows or towels under the knee stop keeping your knee bent i want you to keep it as straight as possible uh, as perfectly straight for as long as possible sleeping you would want to do that now here's the thing when patients keep that knee straight when you keep that knee straight you will have some pain you will have to bear with that just you, you can either uh, you know ice it to help with the pain uh, you know take some you know, take some medications to help you with the pain but a lot of times is I don't like uh, telling people to take uh, pills just bear with it usually if you if you keep stretching that the first one week will be rough. I'm gonna be very honest with that. The first week is gonna be rough. Usually one to two weeks. After that, once your knee straightens out, a lot of my patients, they, they tell me, oh wow, it's like all of a sudden, the pain went down drastically. And that's because now it doesn't have to be stretched whenever your knee is goes into a, a, an extended position, all right? So the easiest way to avoid that uh, you know knee knee contra uh, the flexion contracture uh, or what we call an extension lag the best way to avoid that is right from the beginning keep your knee straight already as much as you can so that way it doesn't even stiffen up in a bent position so you're going to be with your exercises a lot of times people focus on they keep they, they keep bending the knee but they keep forgetting to straighten that knee and they're not being told to do that all right so that's one very important tip that i want you to remember if you just had a knee replacement or if you are going to have a knee replacement keep this in mind okay because i see this a lot and sometimes if the patients don't correct that and the providers don't catch it because uh, i've heard of other like uh, patients who even went to an, uh, other clinics nobody really told them about it and then they don't catch that later on they will have to undergo manipulation or, or uh, they're gonna get in, uh, stuck in that position and they won't be able to walk normally anymore and i don't want that to happen to you all right so that's why i want to share that with you today um, and if you know anybody who will benefit from this video please share this with them okay thank you very much for your time thank you very much for watching this video i hope uh, you learned something from this and definitely, you know, feel free to share this video with other people so you can help transform other people's lives, especially the ones who are undergoing a knee replacement. All right. Uh, let me know what questions you have. I would love to see your uh, comments, your feedback below. I would love to know if this is helpful for you. Okay. Uh, so yeah, next time uh, I will share more tips with uh, about no total knee replacements and make that recovery process a lot easier for you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.